Welcome students to e-learning program for this school year and this is additional English for Matlin 2. My name is Crisanto Felix or you can simply call me Teacher Chris. Some of you already know me since I started teaching you last year. But for those who are new students, I am pleased to introduce myself. I am from the Philippines and I will be your teacher and facilitator for additional English level 2. Since we are still in a classroom setting, only we do it virtually this time, I would like to impose general guidelines and rules for us to have harmonious relationship. Please pay attention while I discuss the rules one by one since it has a great impact during the entire program. The first rule, be punctual. As I have mentioned in the announcement section that punctuality is not just being on time, but it is respecting your own commitment. It is expected from you to start your lesson on the intended time for you to start. All worksheets, quizzes, and assignments are programmed to have deadlines. Please submit all your requirements on or before the deadline. The next one is chat room rules. The chat room feature of our class platform is strictly intended for forum discussions, announcement, submission of other class requirements and other class businesses only. Anything that are not related on the lesson is prohibited to be posted in the classroom chat room. The next one is no foul language. The school is committed to uphold values formation among all the students. Thus, it is expected from you to refrain from speaking or writing bad words in the form section, conversing to other students, or on your writing task. I promise that if you do these things, you will find ultimate learning experience during the entire online learning. We will be covering the unit one of your book entitled Good Memory. At the end of the lesson, you will learn how to properly ask questions to get to know people. Answer questions so people will get to know you. Talk about childhood experiences you had in the past. And lastly, write valuable memories to preserve for the future. This is very important because nowadays, youth are no longer writing their journal entries. So this is also part of our lesson. Along the lesson, you might encounter unfamiliar words, so we will go to them one by one. I will read the word three times. Please repeat after me afterwards. The first word is Amusement Park Amusement Park Amusement Park Please repeat. Very good. So, what is amusement park? It is a large outdoor area with fairgrounds, rides, shows, refreshments, games of chance or skill, and other entertainment. The direct translation of this word in Thai is this one. Since now you know what is the meaning of amusement park, can you tell me an example of amusement park? Hmm? Anyone? If your answer is Dreamworld, then you are correct.
another anchor place and one if your answer is Disneyland then you are also correct good job Are you ready for the next word? So here it is. Beach. 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 Now, be careful on um, pronouncing this word because when you mispronounce this word, it will have a different meaning. So mimic how I pronounce the word beach. Please repeat after me. Very good. Now, what is the meaning of the word beach? It is a pebbly or sandy shore, especially by the ocean between high and low water marks. Of course, you know what it is. You're all deprived of going to the beach. Now, what is the direct translation of the word beach in Thai? So, this is the word beach in Thai. Now, you know the meaning of the word beach in Thai. Can you tell me an example of Anyone? If your answer is Bali in Indonesia, then you are correct. Yeah. Another answer, please. Can you think of something? If your answer is Freedom Beach in Phuket, then you are also correct. Very good. Are you ready for the next word? So here it is. Comic books. Comic books. Comic books. Please repeat after me. Good job. Now, what is a comic book? It is a magazine that represents a serialized story in the form of a comic strip, typically featuring the adventures of a superhero. Now this is very common. In the picture you see Iron Man, you see Falcon. So these are the famous um, comic characters. And the direct translation of this word inside is this one. Now you know the meaning of this word inside. Can anyone tell me an example of comic book or comic books? Anyone please? If your answer is Marvel, then you are correct. Can you tell me another answer? Anyone? Think of another answer. If your answer is DC Comics, then you are correct. Now you're getting it. Very good. Let's move on to the next word. Again, please repeat after me. The next word is pets. 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 
it is obvious that you are familiar with this word because you can see dogs, cats, rabbit. But what is a pet? What is the meaning of pet? It is a domestic or tame animal kept for companionship or pleasure. Don't be confused with farm animals from pets, okay? Animals in the farm are grown for the consumption of people while pets are for companionship or pleasure. There is an emotion attached towards them, okay? So what is the direct translation of this word in Thai? So it is this one in Thai. Okay. So let's move on to the next word. I am 100% confident that every one of you knows the next word, okay? The next word is video game. Again, video game. Video game. Let me say it again. Okay. So, what is a video game? It is a game played by electronically manipulated images produced by a computer program on a television screen or other display screen. Okay, the direct translation of this word in Thai is this one. Now, can you tell me an example of a video game? You must be quick. I know that you know this one. If your answer is League of Legends, all right. Any other answer, please? If your answer is Dota 2, then you are also correct. Yes, 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 okay. Let's move on to the next word. Playground. 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 Now, what is the meaning of playground? It is an outdoor area provided for children to play in, especially at school or public parks. We have a big playground at the Thompson. The direct translation of this word is this one. Okay, can anyone tell me an example of playground? Yeah, you have a playground at the park or inside of your school campus. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, we're getting close to the end. The next word is Sticker Sticker One more Sticker Can you say it again? Okay That's correct Now, what is or what are stickers? These are an adhesive label or notice generally printed or illustrated. These stickers are not the stickers we use in social media platform, but these are the cute printed labels we normally stick in our notebooks or when we are writing a letter to a friend. Okay. The next one, or sorry, the direct translation of this word is this one. All right. Next word is teddy bear. Oh, what a cute one! Again, teddy bear. Repeat after me, teddy bear. You are correct. So, what is a teddy bear? Simply, it is a soft. Toy bear, a cute little or big toy bear. The direct translation of this word is this word. Now we're moving on to the last word, and the last word is 
Part two. Part two. Please repeat after me. Part two. Okay. So what is a cartoon? It is a simple drawing showing the features of the subject in a seamlessly exaggerated way, especially a typical one in newspaper or magazine. Before in the old days, you can only see cartoons on newspaper and on magazine, but nowadays you can see also cartoons on television. The direct translation of this word is this one. Now you know the meaning of this word. Can you tell me an example of the cartoon? Tick-tock, tick-tock. Okay. If your answer is Doraemon, then you are correct. Originated from Japan. Okay, what else? Can you tell me another example of the cartoon? Okay, if your answer is Maui of the Disney Moana, then you're also good for Island Man, a demigod. Alright, so those are the words that you have to remember because these words will be encountering them in the future, uh, later part of our lessons. And to have a recap, let's review. I have in the left side the English word and in the right side the translation of the word. Please read them one by one and familiarize yourself with the type translation. I will give you two minutes to memorize them and we will have a little vocabulary exercise. Two minutes start now. Two minutes is over, so let's get moving. I want you to move to the assignment section and follow my instructions from there. So good luck, and I hope you enjoy the first session of our lesson. Goodbye.